Hey everybody, it is Malik again, and we're going to just do one level tonight. Crypt level number six. Um, I'm in the process of doing a video on explaining DNS, and I uh, want to get that finished up tonight and hopefully get that published. And this is going to take a little bit of time, because as you can see, we're looking for an answer. We don't have a, uh, a script now, so we're out of substitution ciphers and rotation ciphers. Now we have a file to listen to. So, of course, it's an audio file, so I'm just going to save this baby to my desktop. And let's take a listen to it. Yeah, okay, that's a bunch of eardrums. Okay, so what the heck was that? Well, as we can tell by now, we're dealing with steganography. Audio steganography, to be exact. So there is something hidden inside of that audio file. And we have to figure out how to pull it out. So, there are two things. You will need a, another program to bring in the audio file and um, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. What you want to do research on is spectrum analysis. Whenever we deal with audio steganography, we typically hide it, hide it, hide it, <laughs> excuse me, uh, inside of the spectrum. So read up on spectrum analysis. You don't have to understand it in and out, uh, but it will come in handy whenever you're using whatever program you decide to use to find the hidden information. Now, every program is different. Uh, I personally use Audacity. Uh, it's free, and it's, it's robust enough to do what I need it to do but not over the top. I mean, it's, it's not like um, I'm doing tons and tons of things with, with uh, audio forensics. If I did, I'd use something heavier, but Audacity is, is perfectly fine. Use whatever program you want. That's just one I like. So find yourself an audio program and take a look at spectrum analysis. Read up a little on that. I'll come back and uh, we'll see what we can figure out from that program. Okay, so let me get this out of the way and let me open up Audacity. Now, I am going to go ahead and open that file on my desktop. There it is. And I can say read it directly. I don't need to bring it in. And again, if I play it, it's exactly the same thing. Now. It's a left and a right channel, and of course this is the noise that we hear. Well, when you get into audio, I mean, we have tons of analysis. Um, we have clipping, and we have silence finders, and sound finders, and beat finders, and contrast, and all this type of stuff. But, in here, if I just tell it to take a look 
at the spectrogram. I'm actually seeing something a little bit interesting here. Now, if I make it a little bit bigger, you can see this says hack this. And we have these really weird symbols here. Now, the left and the right channel are the same thing. So they're duplicated, so, so don't worry about them. Just stick with one channel. You can ignore the other. It's not like it goes this channel and then this channel. They're duplicates. So we know we're on the right track because we have hacked this. But what in the heck is this? A line with a dot, a line with four dots, a line, a line with four dots, three dots, a smiley face, a line with two dots, a line with three dots, a line with one dot, a dot, a line with a dot, a smiley face, a line with two dots, and a line. What is that? Well, if it was dash, long dash, long dash, short dash, you would probably recognize it right off the bat as, hey, that's Morse code. Well, it's kind of the same thing, except for it is, they represent numbers. So do some research on those symbols. One dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, a line. And see what you come up with. Don't worry about the smiley face. We'll talk about that. And see what you come up with. And then we'll come back and if you found out what they are, you should have something from it. So I'll give you a second to figure that out. Okay, so if you've been looking around and and then did some some Google searching on you know, numbers consisting of of dots and lines or or however you want to put it, um you may have stumbled, or you should have stumbled over, let me pull it up, here we go, pull it up on Wikipedia, I had a couple of pages. You may have pulled up this. Mayan numbers. From the Maya civilization. It's a base 20. So, reading this very first line, the Mayan numerical system was a system to represent numbers and calendar dates on the Mayan calendar. Kind of zoom in so you can see it a little bit more. Sorry, went on a turtle shell. Okay, it's base 20. The numerals are made up of three symbols. Zero, which is a shell. 
1, a dot, and 5, a bar. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very simple to figure out. A bar is 5, the dots are 1. The little shell symbol is a 0. So, if you stumbled across that, this is technically a shell. It does look like a smiley face. It's a shell. <laughs> so, if you figured that out, what you should come up with is this. You should come up with 6, 9, 5, 9, 3, 0, 7, 8, 6, 1, 6, 0, 7, 5. 6, 9, 5, 9, 3, 0, 7, 8, 6, 1, 6, 0, 7, 5. If you got that, you are well on your way of figuring out the answer. But they're not going to make it that easy. Because you may have tried that as the answer, and it didn't work. Now, I had a little bit of... Uh, a head start on this one because this was very very similar to a hack the site challenge very similar in fact to a hack the site challenge if I didn't have that one I would have put this in well I tried to put this in as the answer of course to see if it worked and it didn't um, but then I was like, all right, well, what else can it make? So what if we convert this to something else? Now, it's a little tricky because this could be decimal. It could be hex. So I typically start off with hex. Run this thing through a hex editor and try to convert it to multiple things. You don't know whether you're going to convert hex to decimal, uh, hex to binary, hex to text. Again, it becomes kind of a trial thing. Unless you know what the answer looks like, you never know if it's right until you try it. So try to run it through a hex converter and get multiple outputs. And try them and see which one lets you in. So I'll give you a sec to do that. Okay, so hopefully you found the answer. If not, I will show you this. Hex to text. Right there. I Y zero X A apostrophe U. 
we grab that and drop that in. Uh, drag it over here. bring my page back. I think I actually closed my page. Yeah, I did. Uh, let me bring that back. So you've already kind of pasted that in there yourself, I'm sure. But here we go. I had it over on the other side. If I drop that in here and submit it, we have completed it. So that was a little bit interesting. That one gave us multiple things. Now, not only did we have to do an audio stack analysis, but we had to figure out what it gave us back. And then we even had to convert that once we figured it out. It's going to happen to where steps are going to lead you to steps are going to lead you to steps. And in fact, I still have not figured out Forensics Challenge, I think it's number three, on Hack the Site, because every step I go takes me to another step, and I get deeper and deeper and deeper in it, and I don't know if I'm following the right rabbit hole. Um, I still haven't been able to figure that one out. But that's that one. And uh, a little bit later on, we'll get into Crypt Level 7, because now we're going to be dealing with uh, symbolic hints that lead yourself to the answer. So again, it's a step to a step to a step to a step. So it's going to be interesting. I think you're going to like it. All right, my friends. If you uh, enjoy the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, uh, click that notification bell, uh, you know, let me know what I can do that, uh, that you guys would be interested in. I'll be glad to post them. But until later, this is Malik.